Fantastic human. Hello. Today we're looking at Notability 15 in iPadOS 26. This is now the 15th version of the app and once again the developers have tweaked the logo. Personally, I'm not sure how I feel about it. What about you? Drop your thoughts down in the comments. But logos aside, is Notability still worth it in 2025? Let's dive in. Notability 15 has, without doubt, the worst pricing setup for a handwriting note-taking app in 2025. The Pro plan costs $100 a year or a painful $20 a month. I'm on the Plus plan, which is $20 a year. This used to be $15, but they bumped it up. Now the Pro plan gives you smart notes, real-time transcription, and chat. But honestly, those features haven't been game-changing in other handwriting note-taking apps, so not really eager to spend $20 a month to try them. Lately, I've leaned more towards typed notes than handwritten ones, so maybe that's why I feel that way. But if you're using the Pro plan and it actually works well for you, do let us know. And to the Notability developers, please send us some promo code so we can test your Pro plan. On the bright side, Notability is now free if you just want to create and edit unlimited notes and record audio. That makes it a solid option for beginners that want to fill the app before committing. And the Plus plan now supports family sharing, which we've been waiting for for what feels like forever. Hopefully they extend that to the Pro version as well. Notability 15 works across iPad, iPhone, and Mac. There's also a web version, which is starting to feel more functional. That's exciting, but it's still in beta and not quite there yet. When we tried it, my notes didn't sync and it wouldn't even recognize my subscription. And there's no option to restore purchases at the moment. So yes, definitely still needs work. On to shapes, and here Notability does something a bit clever. There isn't a dedicated shapes icon on the toolbar. Instead, you simply draw your shape, and the app converts it instantly. It works for all kinds of shapes, even irregular ones, and you can edit them afterwards. You can draw shapes with any writing tool, that is the pen, the highlighter, or the pencil. One tip though, don't bother trying to draw arrows with a highlighter. It just doesn't handle them well. Actually, it doesn't handle them at all. The good news is you can adjust border thickness and type and add or remove the fill color for your shapes in Notability 15. The only frustration is that the opacity is still fixed, so you can't make fills more transparent or solid, which is a shame. That said, you can easily duplicate shapes and the guidelines are genuinely helpful. The shape tool here is one of the most complete you will find in a handwriting note-taking app. The plus icon is back for adding items. That awfully confusing photo icon is finally gone. Couldn't be happier. Notability 15, like its predecessor, has a big collection of stickers. If you're the type of person who likes decorating your notes, you will love this. It even supports the iPad OS stickers that come with your keyboard and you can create your own custom stickers as well. My personal favorite is the sticky notes, where your handwriting actually sticks. But I was hoping they would make them look more realistic this time around. Maybe add shadows, folded corners, something to make them feel like proper sticky notes. Hopefully in the future. Another feature worth getting Notability 15 for is tape. It's not perfect, but it's functional. You get a handful of patterns and colors, you can draw freehand or straight, and you can toggle all the tape on and off with just one tap. What more can you ask for? Now, if there's one feature that defines Notability, is the audio recording. 
And this is where the app truly shines. No handwriting app comes close to what Notability offers. You can sync handwritten and type notes perfectly with your recordings, and it does this with pixel accuracy for your handwriting, something we've not seen anywhere else. In fact, we scored audio recording out of 15 in our database, and Notability gets a 12.5. It only loses points for transcription, which is frustratingly limited. The Plus version's transcription is painfully slow, if it is working at all. What used to process in real time now takes ages. A two-minute clip can feel like it takes donkey years to get a transcript ready. Meanwhile, Apple Notes and GoodNotes 6 handle this in seconds, at a fraction of the price. It gives me the impression that developers simply aren't prioritizing transcription for Plus users anymore which is obviously disappointing. Also, some changes feel like a step backwards. We were hoping to see this fixed in Notability 15. The playback speed toggle was moved from the timeline in Notability 14, which made it harder to reach. Why they did that, I don't even know. And I really miss the old option to hide note previews during playback. I didn't use it much at the time, but when I finally found a use for it, it was gone was a shame. That said, the editing tools are excellent. Notability lets you trim recordings, merge them, and even fine-tune the audio quality. That's unique in this space. The fine-tuning, I mean. The only bright side for transcription is that you can resize the sidebar to any width you want. But without any transcription after 30 minutes, it's basically useless. Notability 15 just failed to transcribe my two-minute audio. Doesn't feel like an upgrade anymore, at least not for the audio transcription. Handwriting conversion in Notability 15 is excellent. It retains your ink color and handwriting size when you convert notes to text. You can also just copy text from the conversion without actually converting anything. Math equations are still editable and you can search through your handwritten notes. And that covers everything you'd want for working with handwritten notes in iPadOS 26. Collaboration is where things fall apart. Even though Notability 15 now has a somewhat functional web version, collaboration is still dreadful. You can't really work with anyone on your notes. The feature is still limited to downloading documents others share with you, without doing anything on the documents in real time. Which is as good as not having collaboration. So, if teamwork is important to you, avoid notability like the plague. Should you try notability 15 in iPadOS 26? Well, it depends on what you value. If you care about shapes, stickers, tape, audio recording and OCR, then yes, Notability is worth a look. But everything else is just average. And when it comes to collaboration, it's terrible. For me, Notability 15 is a mixed bag. It's brilliant in a few areas, frustrating in some, and overpriced. It no longer packs the amazing features it used to, so now it's not an app would recommend as a first choice, except in a very few special cases that are very hard to come up with. How about you? What do you love or hate about Notability 15? Let us know in the comments. And if this review helped you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more deep dives on productivity apps. And until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.